These types of hate acts um, have huge repercussions for how the community feels here. Eastmark Great Park in Mesa vandalized with hate, a disturbing message attacking the Jewish community. For Rabbi Shmuley Yanklowitz, it's painful to see. That already feels very unsafe in America right now and in Arizona in particular with the rapidly rising anti-Semitism. The Anti-Defamation League released a new report. Last year, there were 53 reported incidents of anti-Semitism here in Arizona. That's down from 56 the year before, but still nearly triple the number from 2019. What we know is that these types of hate messages ultimately lead towards violence. And so we have to name them and counter them right away. ADL tracked reported incidents of anti-Semitic vandalism, harassment, and assault in Arizona. And in October, U of A professor Thomas Meixner was killed by a former student who reportedly thought he was Jewish and made anti-Semitic threats. That we can become numb to some of these lies, some of these stereotypes in ways that normalize them. Dr. Edna Friedberg is a historian with the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. She's coming to the Valley Thursday to educate families on extremism in our country and ways to fight it. it is about how do we protect ourselves from that? How do we become alert to how we may passively be complicit in making these kinds of ideas become mainstream. Friedberg says learning from history and speaking out against hate is vital. If we don't stand up for our neighbor, we are all allowing the fabric of our communities to be weakened. Meanwhile, Rabbi Yanklowitz has a message to those spreading anti-Semitism in the valley. Come for a Shabbat dinner. Come join the Jewish community and see the peaceful ways of our community. See the types of values we're promoting. Join us in friendship. We want to build bridges, not only with friends and allies, but with those who have never met Jews and simply don't understand our community. Now, the event with Dr. Friedberg is on Thursday at the Valley of the Sun Jewish Community Center in Scottsdale. It is free and open to the public. For more information on how to register, head to our website, azfamily.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.